Welcome back legends. We are going to be going to our second video of this series of setting up this 3D printing workshop um, and studio and uh, kind of the things that I did to keep things organized, to make myself more efficient, to make the business run smoother. Um, we've got a shipping station, we've got um, the 3D printers here. Um, I've got a, a commercial printer for when I need to make my inserts. Um, I've got a bunch of stuff here uh, to help make my business more professional looking um, and give me the options to branch out into other parts of 3D printing. Without further ado, let's get into the footage and uh, the rest of the setup and finish of this room. Looking more and more complete here. Got this whole side cleared out. Kind of just going along here and putting stuff in any of these cabinets. Um, and then I'll organize that, refine that later. I just need to get space in here so I can get these printers up and running. Probably gonna have to cancel an order. Um, I'm overdue one day. Uh, I thought I'd be able to get it up and running today and get that order out, but I'm not gonna be able to. So if you're that person watching this video now, I apologize for that. Hopefully uh, you bear with me and order again. I'll, I'll send you a, a message on eBay about it and let you know, but we are so close to getting this ready. And wow, I didn't realize I had so much filament. This doesn't look like my, yeah, it's only six boxes of black, but I need to do a filament inventory here. There's uh, was it? Four rows deep, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, four high. And then I've got this just packed all the way to the back goes back four rows yeah four rows <laughs> and that's a bunch more filament that i bought for the uh anniversary sale that bamboo labs had so yeah i got a lot of filament and i need to start printing stuff but we are so good right now it's a little messy up there yeah fine but it's way better than it was before all that's going to be refined got some more storage totes here um these things are fired so nicely like it's so nice and they all intertwine with each other too. So like two of these small ones will fit sideways on top of here and they'll lock in. And two of these ones will lock into the bigger one, which is freaking awesome. All right, we got a lot done. So here's kind of the progress report on what we've got so far. Rack set up there, three printers on there. Um, got both the benches set up. Got two little cubbies on each side of my print station. And then above that, I put another shelf. And so I've got all my filament chilling up there. Uh, another rack over here with two more printers. And that's going to be some extra storage space for some more filament. Um, and I still have to set up these guys, these uh, P1Ss. So those guys are going to go, one's going to go there. And the other one's going to go there. And they're going to fit perfectly right there. There's a good enough gap behind here to get a poo shooter bucket thing whatever you want because i'm pretty sure um the filament discharges from the back giant air filter here yeah so hopefully this will help uh with any of the uh you know toxic fumes or whatever from whatever i'm printing i primarily use uh pla and ptg uh but i might want to get into some other stuff um, and if I do, I'm going to need ventilation, which I feel like I can get something kind of rigged for this window uh, to exhaust ventilation. Uh, but that's going to be a little bit down the road. Got to tackle one project at a time. I um, also have a rack here for all my open uh, filament spools, which you can see down here. I have got a bunch. Um, so yeah, so that way I can store these on here. Be easier to rifle through all that sort of stuff. Um, I got a piece of wood here because I'm going to build a shelf inside this closet because I need more room for boxes. So I'll have these guys here on the bottom and then I'm gonna build a shelf right here. And then I can put the smaller boxes up on top. So really trying to maximize my space here. Um, and I think that's about it for the update. I got a de um, dehumidifier down there, um, but I'm definitely gonna get in, I'm gonna need another one because humidity in this place is really high. Um, right now we are at, where we go? There we go. Right now we're sitting right there. So, uh, what is that? Probably 40, 45% humidity, which is quite extreme. So I'm going to have to get another one of those cause, um, it's humid. So, uh, that's the progress report on this. Um, oh yeah. And I put some shop lights up. So got a nice bright, uh, workstation and all that sort of stuff. 
All right, got the little makeshift shelf installed. Uh, bigger boxes on the bottom. And then uh, smaller ones on top with uh, a little more room for if I got anything taller. Um, yeah, quick and easy shelf. Uh, nothing too crazy. Um, it's in the closet here, so. Okay, legends, we are done. I think we are at the final stages. This very end, the, the very, there's just nothing left to do. I'm so freaking excited. Um, there's some finishing touches that I want to like change a little thing or like fix some stuff, make things a little bit better, but we're going to use dirty printing to do that. So without further ado, let's check this out. All right. So this is what we've got. Everything is pretty much set up down here. Got our filament rack. I got a paper shredder too. Um, I don't know if you all seen that video on my other channel. That was a wild one. Um, but all the filament here, air filter here, trash, and the spool holder right here. We've got a little broom here for when we have to clean off these work surfaces here. Um, we're already printing stuff. Hopefully the home isn't too loud. And we got the AMS set up here. Some of my tools and stuff here set up ams set up over here so we got our two um, ams units the p1s's um, set up and uh, this is what i'm going to need for 3d printing is just some more organizational stuff within these cubbies here um, i do want to print maybe my logo back over here um, that should be pretty fun uh, project i still want to get the supports that i'm going to kind of anchor into the walls here um, but as you can see this is printing just fine, and this shelf is shaking a little bit, but it really doesn't matter. These things are so robust. Um, no issues or layer line problems. We're fine. I probably don't even need to put in those anchors, but uh, for uh, peace of mind, I guess, for myself, I'm going to anyways. Plus, it'll be a fun project. And what else do we got over here? Um, this one's printing now, that one's printing. This one, of course, um, I think the nozzle's clogged or something. So this one's out of commission until I get some time to fix this one. And yes, we do have the, uh, the uh, other AMS unit down here um, for the A1. That one is not hooked up yet. I still have to figure out how I'm going to, uh, uh, how I'm gonna do that with the, the, uh, the AMS unit. Cause I don't think there's enough room here, uh, but maybe I can do something, I don't know, for the time being. I got these guys just <laughs> zip tied up here. It works for now. Um, I have a better solution, which I'm gonna create a bracket that these things go on, kind of like how I had in my other setup. Um, again, another 3D printing project, that'll be fun. I'm gonna try and do as many 3D printing touches as I can in here. Um, so yeah, I think the last thing we have over here is our um, air exchanger. So um, this is just a window fan. Um, I've got it set on exhaust, so it's exhausting air out. Yeah, I'm spending a little extra money on uh, electricity for air conditioning, but I'd rather have this room um, as much or as clean as possible. Um, I also have another little air filter up here, uh, down here, so I, I probably can't have too much air filtration. You know, I want to make sure I'm being safe, um, which is why I really wanted to get this um, uh, ventilation thing happening here so I can exhaust as much air out of this room as possible and then I figure these uh, these air filters will uh, kind of do the rest or if there's anything overnight that's being left over it just, just can gobble whatever fumes small particles all that sort of stuff up um, and then I had a little bit of room over here between the door so I figured I'm gonna put a little rack there why not I'm not sure what I'm gonna use it for but I know uh, space is at a premium uh, and then just a simple calendar here so I can organize uh, kind of what I'm doing here and uh, keep you know the business organized and uh, yeah that's pretty much it you're already seen that cleared out all those all those little bins that I had up there I'm probably gonna get a bunch more uh, I've got them kind of tucked away down here on projects that I'm working on and they're pretty much all in that one um, I don't know if you guys want to see that, but um, yeah, so I've got them all just tucked away in here on the different projects that I'm working on and I just kind of fill them up. Um, some of the stuff that I make, I kind of pre-print, so I've got them ready to go. Um, 
yeah so i think i think we're there guys i think we can start making some uh some fun 3d printing content and uh making some really cool things um doing some fun designs and just doing what i love to do is designing and making fun and cool 3d printed stuff so um enough about talking about the space and that being built uh if you guys want to see anything out there or anything extra about this maybe things i didn't cover that you guys saw that you like a little more explanation or maybe my thought process on uh leave some comments below and maybe we'll do like a revisit on on some of that stuff um or something yeah so that's it um i'm glad you guys are with me on this journey um hopefully yeah you like subscribe all that you know sort of good stuff but the biggest thing share share with any of your other 3d printing friends uh any other nerds like me that love 3d printing and design and stuff like that just share it with them let them know that i'm out here um trying to do fun and cool stuff so until the next one's legends we're out all right legends we're back um, hopefully that was a fun video for you guys. I know it was a lot of just me rambling about storage and organization and what I'm doing. Um, but I think this is probably and hopefully useful to some of you that maybe um, are wanting to get into 3D printing or um, just are kind of maybe unsure if it's actually possible. Um, yeah, I think it is. I think it is. Um, this is a 12 by 12 room um i've got a lot in here there's a lot of things i still need to work on and then yeah there's just a bunch of little things and nuances that we're going to be working on from here on out so stay tuned to the next videos we're going to be working on a lot of shop things that we need to build things that are going to make me more organized and the business run more efficiently um and i'll even show you guys what and why i'm i'm uh, printing these things like i told you before i do need some storage type stuff over here to keep things organized um, eventually thinking about doing a grid affinity for this drawer here um, and just other things like that just so I know where the things the tools are at that I need when I need them so if you're along for the journey and you want to keep following make sure you like subscribe and share